Hi, AT from CNC at Home. In our last video, we finished burning our coaster project. The next step is to take these into the garage and clean all of the paint off. To clean the paint off of the tiles, I'm going to use lacquer thinner. I use about a cap full for a tile. It seems to be about the right amount. In the past, I've used a mineral spirits to clean the paint off. Even though that worked, as we'll see, it didn't work quite as well as the lacquer thinner. The lacquer thinner really cuts through that paint quickly and takes it off. As in past projects, I am using a putty knife to scrape the paint off. I noticed that the paint was coming off very easily. As I cleaned up the tiles with the lacquer thinner, I was able to get a really nice shine back on the tile. One of the downsides of using the putty knife is it tends to push the paint onto the sides of the tile, which adds to the cleanup process. Now I'm cleaning the paints off the side of the tiles. Because my can of lacquer thinner was brand new and full, it was difficult to pour a little cap full, so I'm going to transfer some of the lacquer thinner to another container just for ease of use. I'm also going to put on some gloves to help protect my hands, not so much from the lacquer thinner, just from the cleanup needed to get all that paint off. Another advantage to using lacquer thinner is that it doesn't have as bad of a smell as that mineral spirits does. Because I have several tiles I need to clean, I don't have to be too accurate on the amount of lacquer thinner that I'm using. It'll remain in my little dish, any leftovers, and I can use that for the next tile. I am still using the putty knife to clean the tiles. That does work well, and still leaving a little bit on the edges. As we'll see a little bit later, I will switch to a new method that seemed to work well with the lacquer thinner. I'd noticed that just using the towel seemed to do a really good job. So with the number four tile, I tried just using the towel and dipping it into the remaining lacquer thinner. That took the paint off real easily, and so I've switched to this method. Here I am finishing up the last of the tiles. With the bulk of the paint cleaned off now, I want to go back over the tiles and give them a second cleaning. This will get any of the remaining residue off of the tiles. This process goes quickly and is very similar to the prep that we do on the tiles to get the fingerprints and the oil and whatnot cleaned off the tiles before we spray paint them. There, nice and shiny. Let's take a look at what these tiles look like, arranged in a standard phone keypad orientation. Looks good. The next step in the cleaning process is to clean any remaining dirt and chemicals off of the tiles. I just use some warm water and some soap and a scrub brush. Clean each of the sides of the tiles and the edges, and then rinse them off to make sure they're nice and clean. Once all the tiles have been scrubbed, I'll dry them off and then I'll take them outside for a nice drying in the sun. The tiles tend to soak up some of the water. Here's what happens when you aren't too careful when you're dealing with the tiles. I dropped the asterisk on the floor and it broke into several pieces. Now I'm going to have to make a new tile. 
Fortunately, this is probably the quickest one to burn as it is the smallest character. Now that I've burned the new asterisk, I'm going to take the tiles outside and set them in the sun. This will help bake off any of the water that soaked into the tiles. I did flip them over at one point. I also stacked them up to let the breeze go underneath them a little bit. This helped them get dried off. The last step in this process is to apply a, a square cork backing to each one of the tiles. The cork that I purchased already has an adhesive back on it, so it's just a matter of peeling off the backing and then sticking it to the tile. I did this to each of the 12 tiles and just lined it up by eyeball. Uh, doesn't need to be too perfect, just somewhat centered in the back, and then just pressed it on firmly. Laying the tiles out again to see what they look like as they're finished. Boy, this sure does look like a phone keypad. Now I just need to find a home for these new coasters. Oops. Hi, I'm AT from CNC at Home. If you like our content, help support our channel by clicking on subscribe and liking our videos. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun with your CNC at Home projects.